you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Let's give a hand for Mr. Wingo. I mean, Kenny Wingo. Yeah. I gotta be careful when they say that name. People think I'm homo or something. <laughs> give it up for Mr. Wingo. How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? This is a good looking crowd. This is not a neck brace, this is a scarf. Shut up. <laughs> See, look, what's wrong with his neck? What? Shut up. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> You need a mouth brace. It's, stop talking, it's a comedy show. Man. I love this place, man. This place, Ten Marks would turn this place up, boy. All oh, this wood up in here. I didn't know you had four balconies. This ain't good. Four balconies and alcohol. This, somebody will be falling tonight. Anyhow, I'm doing good. I'm from White Plains, New York. Doing comedy from New York or White Plains or just plain white? What's one? With, uh, white. Buffalo, all right, all right, that's what's up. Upstate, I love it, I love it. Uh, moved to Virginia, man. They tricked me, you know, when I came down here. They say Virginia's for lovers. <laughs> Virginia, no matter what they say it's for, Virginia is home of the Confederacy. <laughs> it took me a minute to realize that, you know, I have a lot of Caucasian friends. I love them to death. We're at a restaurant having a good time, ordering food. Waitress walks up to me and says, barbecue sauce, right? I got you. She walks away, I think nothing of it. I love barbecue sauce, right? I'll drink it out the glass if I could. Right? My Caucasian friend says, Cora, that's racist. How is she gonna assume when you want a barbecue sauce with your chicken? I look at her and say, you think she's racist? I ain't even ordered chicken. I ordered the pasta. I still took that barbecue sauce though. It goes good with everything. <laughs> I love it to death, man. I went to one restaurant. I think the best combination is, is barbecue, Chicken, you know, barbecue sauce, chicken, and pizza. You know, a barbecue, chicken, pizza, that is the best combination in the United States of America. I don't care, right? I order it right. The lady brings in the pizza, it has pork on it, bacon. That's like, well, you know, that's not what I order. I just want a barbecue chicken and barbecue sauce. You know, and she was like, oh, well, it comes with bacon. And she don't understand, I'm getting upset, I don't eat bacon. And she just like, well, that's how it comes, sir. It comes with bacon. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I ordered a barbecue chicken pizza. Those are the ingredients, barbecue sauce, chicken, and pizza. Nothing about bacon or pork. So she doesn't understand why I'm getting upset, so I had to break it down to her. You know, I'm going to keep it This is the illustration. Imagine me get a nice tailor-made suit, right? Fits me to a T, right? I put the ha my hands in my pocket, and I pull out a handful of bacon. And I'm like, excuse me, Taylor, there's bacon in the pockets. He's like, that's how the suit comes. It comes with bacon. <laughs> I don't understand that. Here's another illustration. You get you a nice fast car, right? Lamborghini. You get home, boom, open the trunk. In the trunk is a trunk full of prostitutes that smell like bacon. You don't want those, do you, right? I don't like bacon. Leave it alone. Simple story. I'm having a good time, man. Christmas is coming up, Christmas season. I'm not looking forward to my Christmas gift from my mother. My mother, she's getting old, right? And she's the kind of person that gets up at like 4.30 in the morning on Black Friday to go shopping at Goodwill. <laughs> I thought everything was Black Friday at Goodwill. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> Christmas morning, I'm like, oh, thank you, Mom, it's a sweater. You got me a sweater last year. In fact, you got me this same sweater last year. Yeah? I'm trying to get rid of stuff. You keep bringing it back. <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. That's what it's like. My father, he's an old school cat, man. He just found out what the letters L-O-L mean, right? He thought it meant lots of love. And I'm glad I found that out, because like for a long time, I thought my pops had a crazy sense of humor. He sent me a text message, son, sorry to hear about your divorce, L-O-L, dad. Thanks, pops, you don't laugh at me, right? You I'm not gonna pray for me. I'm just gonna <laughs> laugh at me. That's how we're gonna do it. So I am dating. I'm back on the dating scene. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing pretty good. I'm attracting a lot of cougars. The older women. <sighs> I love them. Though. I love them. There's this lady in particular, right? I'm not sure I can call her a cougar. Because I don't think cougars live that long. <laughs> She's like an aggressive turtle. You know what I'm saying? She She's slow, you know what I'm saying? She's green, she's like, how did that happen? She tried to get sexy in me one time, she's like, hey baby, you know, I'm not wearing any diapers. You better put them diapers on, you know, you dripping. That's not swag sauce, it is not that kind of swag -oo. <laughs> Kanye West reference that, you know, dripping swag -oo. Yeah, I, I, I love the older women, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really sure 
I'm a fan of the younger woman anymore because the younger woman, they're real picky. Like, they won't date a man that has a job and a car and a cricket earlobe. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that damn earlobe just gets on my nerves. It's like, but he has a job. Go get him. The older woman, she has a priority straight. You know what I'm saying? As long as a man can love her, respect her, and provide for her, she would date a man with no face. You know? <laughs> he just have a nostril and an eyeball. But that's my man Winky. I love my man Winky, girl. Something about the way he winks at me just makes my panties melt. That is my man Winky. <laughs> that's how it is. I just tell people, be who you are, you know what I'm saying? People love real people. Oh, I can't stand somebody that's fake. I got a couple friends. They never want to be who they are, right? I hate getting a phone call from them. This is how the phone call goes. They always call me up. Hello? Yo, 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 what's up, dude? What's up, man? How you doing, baby? How you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. What you get into tonight, dog? I'm just gonna stay home and do some writing. Nah, you a corny dude, man. You a corny dude. I'm more blacker than you. I'm blacker than you, dude. I'm like, no, you get arrested more than I do, but you're not blacker than me. That's, don't get it twisted. But I, 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 peace out. My nigga. All right, talk to you later, Jennifer. This, <laughs> It's kind of weird. <laughs> Be who you are, man. I, I thought that wood was about to fall down. Huh? I'm not used to stuff creaking when I'm on stage. This is <laughs> tobacco company, and my set is cut short. I'm about to see something fall. That's all I'm saying. All right. I love it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it moving with this entire set, you know what I'm saying? It's a black man gets killed at tobacco company. Just put barbecue sauce on them and call it a recipe. I don't know. Black spare ribs or something. That's what it is. But uh, I'm really happy to be doing comedy. I love um, what I'm doing. It's a blessing. I tell people it all the time. Because when I was younger, I never thought I'd be doing any type of public speaking at all because I stuttered as a child. Sometimes I still do. You may catch it, right? And so, like, stuttering is kind of hard to explain if you don't have it. Stuttering is like verbal constipation. Yeah. No matter how hard you push your blow, those words ain't coming out. Yeah. And it kicks up on you when you least expect it. I'm gonna give you an example. I'm at McDonald's one day. I don't go there, blah, blah, An example. I wanna order a Big Mac, but for some reason I can't say these. So I gotta play it off because I don't want the lady behind the counter to know that I stutter. So I'm like, all right, can I get a And then the manager, she sees what's going on, and she, she comes up behind the counter, and she's just like, um, be nice to him. He's retarded. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's my time with Corey Marshall. Thank you. Keep it rocking for Corey Marshall.